Let's take another look at one-sided limits. Consider the function g of x equals 10x over x minus 2. And I want to look specifically at the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of g of x. Now you know something's interesting, interesting is going to happen because if x equals 2, this thing's undefined. So we're going to kind of sneak up on it from the left. Let's start with the number, the number 1. So we have g of x equals 10 times 1, or 10, over 1 minus 2, negative 1. That's going to be negative 10. Now let's get a little closer to 2. 1.9. 10 times 1.9 is 19. 1.9 minus 2 is negative 0.1. This is going to be, it's like 19 times negative 10, negative 190. And let me just speed this up. The rest of the values, 1.99, 1.999, I would get negative 1990 negative 19990. What's happening to the g of x values as x gets closer and closer to 2? They seem to be decreasing more and more rapidly. And we say that they're going to negative infinity. So we would say this limit is negative infinity. The limit as x approaches 2 from the left of g of x is negative infinity. The values decrease without bound. Now let's see what happens when x approaches 2 from the right. So pick a number to the right of 2, like 3. 10 times 3 is 30. Over 3 minus 2, 1, is 30. Let's try a little closer to 2, 2.1. 10 times 2.1 is 21. Over 2.1 minus 2, over 0.1, that's going to be 210. And then just to fill in the rest of the values, getting closer and closer to 2, we have 2.01, 2.001, and we get 2010, 20010. You can see that as these values get closer and closer to 2, the, the y values get closer and closer, or they increase without bound, they get closer to infinity. So we say that this limit is infinity. Now, You've seen functions like this before. This is g of x equals 10x over x minus 2. As x approaches 2 from the left, the, the function is going to negative infinity. And as x approaches 2 from the right, it's going to positive infinity. These limits signal the presence of a vertical asymptote. And that leads us to this definition. A line, a vertical line, x equals a, is a vertical asymptote of the graph of a function y equals f of x. If one of these four things is true, either the limit as x approaches a from the left of f of x is plus infinity, or it's minus infinity. Or the limit as x approaches a from the right is plus infinity or minus infinity. Any one of those four things is true. x equals a is a vertical asymptote. In this case, we have two of those things true. The limit as x approaches 2 from the left is negative infinity. The limit as x approaches 2 from the right is positive infinity.